Welcome back, watch fans, and thank you for watching another watch review by Todd's Watch Shop on Election Day, no less. So I have the day off, and I figured I'd do a quick video on a watch that I have um, cleaned up, fixed up, and rejuvenated. And uh, I will end up putting it up for sale. I love this watch, but unfortunately, I don't really do any scuba diving. And while this watch is awesome, um, the most that I do is snorkeling. And I have tons of 200 meter dive watches. Uh, this watch is a 500 meter professional dive watch. And when I say professional, it is absolutely professional. Now, the interesting thing about this watch is that it is actually, it's actually a, what can I call it? It's a Seiko watch, but uh, it is a model that has been offered up and produced under multiple different brands. So uh, this is Dive Safe. This one, Dive Safe is actually a company that produces diving products. I think in Canada um, or in the, the Northwest. There's several other manufacturers that also produce this watch um, under a different name. Um, and I will randomly put them up throughout uh, throughout this, this review. But Kinzel is another one, exact same watch. I mean, it is literally the exact same watch. And uh, Kinzel, all they do is they just put their logo in the middle. Um, it's otherwise the exact same watch, same uh, Seiko watch band that just doesn't have the, the logo on it. Very nice watch band. I mean, this thing is, it's got plenty to give. Um, and I bought this, this Seiko watch band brand new. It's the same one that they put on all the watches. Um, but it's, it's a spectacular watch. Now this uses the Seiko VX, let's see, VX 42 movement. You can see it listed down there at the bottom, Japanese movement by Seiko. And the other funny thing is, is that all the different variations of this watch, they all have the exact same hands, some with different uh, colors on the hands, but is the exact same hands, same shape, same style, same style. Uh, everything is, is exactly the same, same case, same bezel, um, and it's got very nice movement. Uh, I actually really like, gosh, I really like this watch. You know, I wish that there was like, I had room in my closet where I could just have a massive display case without people thinking that there was something wrong with me. Because right now I've got, I don't know, 100 plus watches. I mean, I, I restore and fix up watches. God forbid I was to show the rest of my workshop. Um, I have boxes and boxes of watches that I need to fix up. Um, but this is a spectacular watch, and it shouldn't it shouldn't be given um, shouldn't be given a pass simply by the fact that it it is. Um, I mean, it shouldn't be disregarded simply because it doesn't actually say Seiko on it. Uh, this is a Seiko watch that Seiko relabels, it offers to other companies um, for relabeling. Um, gosh, I'm trying to remember. Um, Keynes was the most recent one that I saw. Um, there's a couple other videos that uh, have this exact same watch. Uh, one guy does an excellent job of the, of the, uh, of the review, but um, I will link that as well. And I'll try and show as many pictures on the right if I haven't already. So uh, I'll also put up a chart. So 500 meters. Um, on the chart, you can see that I'm putting up above, I'll put it up in the upper right. So I'll make some room there. It is, you can do anything. Um, I, I know I wouldn't say you can go to the Titanic, right? But you can do any kind of like off the coast of Florida where they sank those old world war two ships for the, uh, uh, to help build the coral reef. You can take this anywhere that you're going to go diving in a wetsuit you can take this and it has a, a diver strap. I mean, this thing's massive. I'll put it on my wrist so you can kind of see the size of it. It's, I, I know I'm, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot three, about 200, 210, 220 pounds. Um, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm in good shape. So I'm fairly thin, but I have huge hands and large wrist. And, and this is, this, this is, this is a big, this is a big watch strap. This is meant for a wetsuit, but that's what you expect when you buy a 500 meter diver uh, watch. 
So I, gosh, I absolutely love this watch. I really don't want to sell this, but I just have absolutely no use for this. I mean, where am I going to go diving 500 meters? And I'm trying to be pragmatic with the watches that I have, um, but it, it is what it is. Brand new watch strap. I've replaced all the seals in it. Uh, I put a brand new battery. Um, this has a screw down crown and I'll show you. And I also replaced the O-rings in the crown and I and on the shaft itself. You can see that there. I'll move that so you can see the nice face. And I also packed the crown with uh, with grease, and I'll show you. I used uh, authentic Seiko grease. This stuff is spectacular. I use this for all my watch repairs, absolutely every single one. Um, for the for the uh, for the O rings. On the seal, I use uh, really good quality O-rings. And I also use a slightly thicker O-ring than what is standard because I believe that that gives significantly better seal. I use a 0.7 millimeter uh, and I size it. I don't remember which size it was. Uh, I replaced it about three months ago. But um, I grease them using the anchor pads, um, the uh, greasing pad that has some of the, the grease in there too. You can kind of see it's wet. So you put the O-ring in there, push down, spin it around, and then you replace it. Uh, and I should have a picture of the movement, so I'll also put that on there as well. But it's a VX, VX42 with date uh, by Seiko. Excellent movement, high quality. It'll absolutely last. For all your dive needs, 500 meters, this is about as good as it gets. Uh, if you're if you're getting a thousand meter dive watch, that's uh, I don't know that's kind of pushing it. You're doing you're doing some some major diving, um, but this is this is perfect for pretty much any kind of scuba diving that you're going to do. Um, so that's it. Hopefully you like this video. This watch will be for sale. I'm not sure really what I'm going to put it up for. I've had it up for 245. I may lower it. May keep it for that. I really don't want to sell this. Um, if I keep it as, at a high price. It encourages me to to keep it <laughs> so so i might do that um but i wanted to uh at least review this watch before i let it go um so goodbye watch all right if you enjoyed this video uh please like it if you hated this video please like it uh, leave a comment below any comments questions that you have or any watch recommendations for review that you have please do that as well and be sure to subscribe. And now I'm going to do a loom shot before I forget. Man, that is bright. That is awesome. You know, I've completely forgotten everything I was going to do. I'm so caught up with with the movement and everything I didn't I didn't measure it or anything so let's go ahead and take care of that right now this is a 46 millimeter case the watch strap is 22 22 two millimeter watch strap yep 22 uh, watch strap thickness is about 3.5 The lug, it's also 20 down at the base there. Excellent watch, let's, let's check the thickness. So everybody likes that. I would say about 10 and a half to 11. The, uh, the bezel is kind of increasing the size, but just I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet so you can hear the clicks. Again, very nice watch, and thank you for watching.